What's it like to work on a Great Lakes or boat? We've learned it's tough. The work is grueling. The time away from family and friends can be painful. But traveling with the crew of the Lee A. Tregurtha taught me there's also a good living to be made, an opportunity to enjoy months of the year without working, the freedom of sailing on the Great Lakes, getting an up-close view of, I'm going to say it, the most beautiful waterway in the world. This morning, I want to talk about the food. Imagine being on a ship for over 80 days, working long, hard days. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, well, they're just not going to cover it. It's the fuel of the ship, just as important as the fuel of the diesel engines. It's time to head into the galley where a Marquette woman works to keep the crew fed and the menu enticing for everyone. Susan Dorman has been an elementary school bus driver, a medical center clerk, and for the past seven years, a steward for the Interlake Steamship Company. This year, for the Lee A. Tregurtha. Well, we do all the planning, all the ordering for the menu, and all the prep, breakfast, lunch, dinner, holidays. We do a little bit of everything. How do you wrap your brain around feeding, feeding this crew? Carefully. <laughs> and like a mom. I just treat them like I'm at home and it's my family. And it looks just like you'd expect a family sitting down for a meal to look like. Enjoying a meal together, conversation, a chance to feel their bodies and take a break. But let's be honest, cooking for a family of four is challenging in itself. To prepare food for 22 different palates, traditions and tastes, three times a day, seven days a week, well, that's a big job. I try to cook home cooked meals and try to keep everyone happy. Not everyone's happy all the time. It's just part of the part of the surroundings. Dorman says she's always willing to take suggestions from the crew and is constantly looking for new recipes and reading cookbooks for inspiration. If I got chicken breast in the fridge, it's like, okay, what new recipe can I find that I haven't done? And they're pretty open to trying things. But it's not as easy as running to the grocery store for ingredients. Don't have an onion or garlic? Too bad. She's tied to the food she orders and the ship that delivers it. Everybody is involved in bringing groceries on. We picked up the week's grocery order just outside of the Sioux Locks around 4 in the morning. A quick and seamless process. An efficient system perfected over years. Dorman says she tries to order a little bit of everything. On our trip, that meant steak, shrimp, pasta, fresh fruit and veggies, sandwiches. There really seemed to be something for everyone. And this was a normal week. Holidays on board the ship are even grander. There's even more planning, more of an emphasis on making each meal something special. It takes a lot of work, a lot of work. My second cook is really busy during those times, helping with prepping and putting everything together. And we just put a, a lot of different appetizers and we try to stay with a traditional meal, but yet throw in a little extra. And it means a lot. It means a lot that everyone's happy and everyone has a full belly. And they do all this while also feeling that same pull the rest of the crew feels. Missing family, missing friends, spending months on the boat. I miss home every day. Miss my kids, miss my grandkids, yeah. But you know, one of the great things about being out here is when I'm off work, when I'm on vacation, I'm on vacation. It requires the same mental toughness as the other areas on the boat. Just doing it doing it for each other, doing your part of the bigger picture, of a mission bigger than all of them, moving thousands of tons of cargo across the Great Lakes. For Dorman, that also means being a light on a hard day, being a warm smile at the end of a long shift, being someone the crew can count on. I think everyone needs a hug every once in a while, and if I see somebody having just that moment, oh, I'm hugging them. <laughs> you know, it's like, I feel like I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm an aunt, I'm a grandma, I'm all of that. And everyone needs it out here. It's a role and a job she never planned on having, but she says she loves it and doesn't plan on hanging up the apron anytime soon. I love being on the water for one thing. That's a big bonus when you can look out your door and just see the lake right there and the crew. I love the crew. 
they're, they're my family. They really are. So no one is going hungry on board the Lee A. I can attest to that. And if you're ever lucky enough to enjoy a meal Susan Dorman's planned and prepared, well, I promise you're going to enjoy it. Tomorrow, we continue our journey as the Lee A. Tregurtha moves through the Sioux Locks and into the St. Mary's River. What that process looks like from on the ship.